Hello again, this is uh, Penny Sophocles of Standing in Her Power Global and uh, continue our conversation here with uh, Lucy Hembrigan. Lucy has some more questions for me today. I do, thank you Penny. So I wanted to start with asking about how Standing in Her Power Global differs from other um, female or feminist movements. For example, Me Too, I know we've spoken about a bit briefly, but in kind of your view, in your words, how does this group differ? Okay, well, I think as women, we all feel the value of finding other women supporting us. And um, I think that's really important and needed because, because we all need the strength that other women can provide, um, let alone our own strengths. But when we get together, there's, there's more strength. So I think that's a great thing. What, however, I see is slightly different in the way that I would want um, Standing in Her Power Global to grow is less about being a victim of our history and much more about being empowered. Now, one of the awarenesses that I have uh, and the distinctions that I would make is that uh, if I look at the world and I look at how conflicts um, occur in the world and, and differences occur in the world, there, there's, there's a natural preponderance to take the victim position. So in any conflict, whether it's, you know, uh, Palestine and Israel, um, they each side feels justified to um, exacerbate the situation and blame the other side because of what the other side did. And that, that makes them justified to do something terrible. And I think that kind of conflictual circumstance is not what something I want to uh, promote. And what I want to see is a situation where women claim their power without claiming the victim position. So claiming the strength of the history is past, we're letting that go. And we're claiming the power of who we are today and the difference we want to make today without any reference to the past, without a reference to you know, how we have been done wrong and all of that, because we could all spend uh, centuries talking about that. And that's not where that is going to give us a way forward. And I think the way forward for us as a society and as women is to claim our power, stand in that power today and consciously make choices about who we want to be and what we want to achieve in the world from a clean sheet. Great, thank you very much. And I, I, th I think my, th I think there's a further thought I would say, which, which is like, you know, my, I, I take the exampleship that Nelson Mandela uh, gave us all, uh, which is a unique thing that he did because he came out of prison and instead of claiming the victim position, he said, no, let us have truth commissions let's acknowledge what's been done but let's forgive and I think that's really um, the, the moral high ground that I think as women we need to take in order to create a clear future for ourselves uh, and without blame and without antagonism and without any reference to the past give ourselves that clean sheet and give men and the world a clean sheet and let's go forward from there yeah, absolutely. Thank you.